guys, Brian here with Mint Tiny House Company. Today I'm going to give you a tour of a custom built 28 foot loft edition. Okay guys, so welcome to the inside of this lovely 28 foot loft edition. Uh, we're going to do a quick uh, quick walk through the kitchen area here first. So one of the first things you'll uh, you'll notice is we installed a lovely 24 inch wide propane uh, range in here and a uh, nice stainless steel hood fan above. Uh, for a sink in here we went with a 24 inch wide apron sink and for cabinetry we did a mixture of some shelving cabinets and some drawer cabinets as well with a lazy susan in the in the corner there the uh, the fridge in this home so it's 12 cubic feet uh, 24 inches wide with uh, fridge and freezer in the uh, living slash kitchen area we installed this lovely fold down breakfast bar and there's a matching bar that uh, bolts onto the exterior of the home so that you can pass food through the window for summer use. So in the living area we custom built a staircase uh, which leads to the main loft and uh, there's lots of space in this staircase for hanging clothes and uh, each step actually opens up as well to provide uh, more storage space so every every inch of space in this staircase has been utilized in the living area then uh, space for a sofa with a tv on the uh, the wall opposite it uh, all of the connections are in place so the buyer can install this themselves at a later date and uh, we also installed a velux window in this uh, in the living area here so the Velux window is actually electric, which is lovely, and it's controlled by a little keypad uh, on the wall here, by the bathroom door. So it's a lovely feature to have uh, in this home, a lovely feature for the summer months. This home actually does have a mini split uh, heat slash AC system as well. So you've got uh, AC for your, your summertime and then the, uh, the heat for, for wintertime as well. Okay, so in the bathroom here, we installed a nice simple vanity unit with space above for a mirror, which the buyer will install later with some other personal touches. And uh, the buyer in this case was fortunate enough to have septic on site, which meant we were able to install a regular flush toilet instead of uh, going with a composting option. And uh, as you can see, there's a little small heater located beside the, the toilet uh, which is uh, thermostatically controlled and it's a nice feature to have in the, in the bathroom. This bathroom actually has a three foot by three foot shower stall uh, with a uh, full glass door so it's quite a large uh, shower for a tiny home. And there's also space in here for a washer dryer. Uh, you could install either a washer dryer stacking kit or the single combination unit with space for hanging clothes above. Okay, so moving up to the, uh, the loft area. So this is the main sleeping loft of the home. Uh, there's lots of space up here so you could add in some additional storage uh, options in here afterwards. Um, recess lighting in the uh, in the ceiling, some wall sconces for reading lights, uh, switches controlling the downstairs lighting, uh, as well as the, the loft lighting, which is a nice feature to have, and some power outlets with, uh, with USB connections. We got three opening windows in here as well. And uh, lastly, moving on to the... Uh, the storage loft or it could be a secondary sleeping loft it's got enough space for a, a double mattress up here but in this case uh, 
the uh, the owner is going to use it for a little reading nook and uh, also for some uh, some extra storage okay guys so that was just a brief tour of this home one thing to note about this home is that it is fully RV certified so financing is available and if you have any questions regarding financing or regarding this home or more of our homes just log on to our website minttinyhomes.com or you can email us at minttinyhomes at gmail.com. Cheers.